Hey guys, welcome back uh, to another video. In this video, I'm gonna just go over some of the changes that have happened in the business credit uh, realm in 2022. So you can avoid certain things and you can do certain things to increase your odds of approval. So stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. Just really quickly, uh, guys, a brief video. There have been so many changes in the business credit arena and we wanna bring some of the changes and give you some guidance as to uh, what can you do to increase your odds of approval uh, you know, when, when setting up your business, also if your business is already set up. So we're just gonna go over that really quickly. So if you haven't formed your LLC in your business, what I do recommend that you do is that you have all the business information in a sheet, okay? Before you apply for anything, before you register your business uh, with the Secretary of State, before anything, just have your business name, your business address, um, have all the information about your business because that's the information you're gonna use uh, to apply for everything okay that way you're gonna be able to have all your business information consistent across the board so that when you apply for business credit in the future your odds of approval are going to be very good again just grab a sheet Put your business information like business name, business phone number, business address, and all the information regarding your business. And then you start ap applying for stuff. You will know that the business address that you put in the Secretary of State is the same business, business address that you have on your um, IRS EIN when you apply for it. So all this uh, is going to guarantee that your business information is just consistent across the board which, because this is the number one reason uh, why people get denied 90% uh, of the time. It's because of conflicts in the information about their business. For instance, one very common is a sense club. If Synchrony sees some kind of conflict in the information, I'm not sure really what is the method that they um, employ to confirm your business information, but it seems like uh, a, a lot of people, they get denied the first time because of that reason. So just to avoid all that, and this works even if you have already uh, you know, filed for the Secretary of State, if you have already, you know, established your business, just make sure that you have in one sheet the business information or the information that you want on your business and make sure that that information is just the same across the board. It's pretty simple. Now, uh, it could be a little more complex after your business has been established and up and running for, for for a long time or you know for any time at all if the information is not consistent on your EIN sheet the sheet that you get from the IRS then you're gonna have to submit a form to change the address I mean just an example um, so this works like if you're trying to form a new LLC just make sure you have all the information in the sheet before you uh, submit and file uh, for your business also some of the changes that I wanted to bring uh, was that the net 55 for Amazon underwritten by synchrony is no longer available uh, the cat caterpillar uh, credit card underwritten by CD is not available anymore and the Walmart community card is not available anymore. So those are some of the changes that are coming uh, or they're already implemented for the business credit. Uh, there are a lot of companies that are kind of like disappearing. Uh, we don't know really the reason. I mean, so as far as I know, the Walmart community card was so popular and I will consider it as a success. So I don't know what happened with Capital One that they discontinued the card. I hope that another company like Citi uh, picks up uh, the Walmart community card because that's going to be really good. I really personally like uh, cards underwritten by Citi because they, to me, I've, I've had the best experience with Citi. 
uh, with Synchrony Bank, not so, you know, it's not so bad. It's not a bad experience that I've had with them. Actually, they are just a little peakier when it comes to approval, when, a, when it comes to confirming the business information. It may take you a few tries before you get approved for an account underwritten by Synchrony Bank. Okay guys, there you have it. I, I said it was gonna be a pretty short uh, video. So feel free to comment down below. Uh, what do you think about the idea of having all your business information established before you file or apply for anything? Uh, tell me what you think about that idea. It's been very effective for us. Take advantage of the resources on the uh, description section down below. There are a lot of links there that uh, can help you build your business credit. We have a link for DV, we have a link for eCredible, uh, we have a link for A to B gas cards. Those are our most used resources in order for us to build our business credit as well. So feel free to take advantage of that. And again, guys, please like and subscribe. We'll really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.